Okay, this is it. We are at day seven. That's one week in. One week. Three more to go. We can do this. We can do this. God help me, we can do this. Right. Cup of Doom. What have you got? Oh, I've got this one. I'm not looking. Now I'm looking. Oh, okay. Nature. They, they are really very different my prompts aren't they 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 go from quite certain concepts and people to just nature okay <laughs> oh, um well that could be anything really couldn't it i'm gonna have to bring the girl back in gonna have to try and get this arc this story arc back round i think i'm 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 concentrate i'm more of a writer than an artist i really am but I am concentrating more on the story than the pictures, I think. So I don't want to lose sight of that. I don't, don't want to lose sight of the pictures. But we shall see. Let's see what we get with that. So we've uh, we've got a bit of nature coming, a bit of nature. With this one, I, I ran the risk of kind of copying what I did the day before because that was, you know, I, I wanted a scene and I drawn a scene with like you know trees and stuff so I was kind of should I should I do the same trees but then I was like yeah but that's not really doing anything different even though this kind of lent itself to nature because trees trees are in nature that's what I'm going with so I decided trees but they're different kind of trees I like drawing these kind of trees I've done these a few times where the the, the branches are kind of these crooked angled shapes so I don't know why I just quite like these trees and I use the same plant type things just very very incredibly simple sort of vines with these little leaves I do them in a different color but they are the same that is from before from the the picture before where the the lightning tree is going past um <clears throat> party party time Jesus uh, that you can just see there he, he's still having a whale of a time he's still having a whale of a time but essentially the idea and I shall put the story here beep changed um sound effects there but um yeah I essentially the she um yes yeah, so Edmund who is you can just see he's up there He's up in the tree, bless him, poor little Edmund. Edmund has uh, fallen from the wormhole. He passes over the top of the lightning tree that is walking through this valley with these similar plant type things. And all of a sudden the, the wormhole kind of pushes him out and he falls next to the girl. The girl then reaches out for the flower and when she touches the flower, she's basically in a field, like, you know, just a normal sort of, England type field surrounded by a few trees and houses and stuff but when she reaches of the flower it all this other stuff starts to grow and it whisks poor Edmund up poor Edmund he just wants to protect his feathers and now he wants a spot of lunch bless him he just wants his lunch poor Edmund but it sort of lifts Edmund up onto this branch so he's in the air now and she's holding this flower and she hasn't noticed all this stuff growing around her but essentially this is the valley that the lightning tree is traveling through. That's the idea. And somehow they are going to meet. They're, they're going to meet. I have no idea how I am at the at the whim of my, my wondrous family's uh, daily prompt. So we'll just have to see. We'll just see what happens. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this hair. I thought the last time I drew her, I was worried about the hair because I'm not good at it. But with this, this um, it's a pick, uh, micron, just the brush. It worked, I think it worked quite well. I'm quite, quite pleased with her sort of floppy fringe look there. I'm, I'm enjoying that. I'm still not 100% or even 50% happy drawing people. I, I messed up her leg. It's, it's sort of like she's sitting with her legs splayed kind of thing. But it just looks like she hasn't got a bottom, bless her. But, um... I like her face, I like her mask, and her hair. So there you go, I'm, I'm like 30% there with her. Her back's all right, her hand's okay. Let, let's go Let's go 40% happy with the little person. Yeah, I'm hoping to improve, I really am. But 
Yeah, onto the trees. This this actually took me, I think this was the longest one. It took me just over an hour, not counting doing the an initial um, sketch. So re the recording time was an hour, six minutes. So that's pretty much how long it took me with pausing and changing TV channels and stuff. But yeah, this the trees, they, they take up a lot of time. There's a lot of lines and it's just trying to do random lots of random lines and swirls and stuff and not getting too regulated in it and being a, a bit again a bit braver with the cross hatching just because I don't feel like I am but uh, getting there there you go that, that is my my saying for this whole month I'm getting there I haven't got there yet but I think I'm getting there but yeah I, I, I was um again not sure do I want to color it in do I want to shade it I want to eventually do like a whole page that's fully coloured in. I just seem to be sort of wary of it. Like with the one before, the um, <clears throat> Party Time Jesus, I, I was umming and ahhing about the sky and do I colour it in and I started a little and then I just went for it and I don't know, I didn't colour the sky in in this one. There's just a very delicate use of pink. But uh, maybe I should have, I don't know. Maybe I should have um, shaded the ground a bit more. I don't know. But anyway, trees, yes. I, I like I like this style of tree. I've seen it around and I'm trying to emulate what I'm seeing just with the the different not being so careful with lines, it's why I'm using this brush instead of just the, the micron liners so I can get this uneven line work, I guess. Um I I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's it's not, you know, like, you know, you, you you go through Instagram and you're looking at what everyone else is doing. You're thinking, ah, oh, I, I want that one. But I think you have to be happy with what you're doing and compare it to the day before and the week before as we keep going on rather than other people's. It's certainly useful to look at other people's work and, and want to get to that stage and look at how they did it and think, yeah, OK, that's that makes me want to try even harder. Of course, that's that's bloody useful but you, you can't compare in that way you know it's it's not it's not a Rembrandt really is it but then again no nah, I'm not aiming for that I'm in, aiming to enjoy myself and hopefully get a bit better here and there but we are we are a week into it people a week into it that leaves us with well three three weeks and one day left how is everyone else going are you, uh, how is everyone doing this? I, I've got it into my head. I have to do one a day. I, I could, I could do, you know, a couple on the days, on my days off or my shorter days and not worry so much on a day where I'm working. Right, right now, oh God, it's, it's gone six o'clock. Right. I hadn't, I hadn't realised it's gone six o'clock because I've been working all day and it's not like, you know, I've been doing this during, or well, before work and during my lunch, I do it. And then do this recording business after. And then, oh my God, these things take time to, to upload to YouTube. They're taking, they're taking about five, six hours. I don't know why. What am I doing? But they seem to be taking a heck of a lot longer than my other videos do. Um, other other channels, in, information about my other channels down below. Just, just in case you were interested. You know, a bit of Sims, a bit of Animal Crossing, a bit of therapy when I actually get around to uploading on that poor channel that has no subscribers bless it if, if you fancy subscribing to dancing zebras down just don't ask why why it's called that there's a there's a reason I'll get to it but you know that, that wouldn't that would be a bad thing if you just want to scroll down the bottom and, and just press the subscribe button I wouldn't mind you know I wouldn't hold it against you or anything like that it'd be quite nice of you but anyway I'll get around to that one right now I'm doing this but yeah they take so long so they're not uploading until uh, three four in the morning for me which is annoying but oh we're getting there that's why they're so late uploading for anybody who was when was interested but yeah I've, I've got it into my head I have to do one a day I want to do one a day and then when it gets to NaNoWriMo, I want to do write every day. Sometimes with that, I'd write, I'd aim for like 5,000, maybe the, the odd 10,000. Oh, that, that's pushing it. But, you know, maybe a 5,000 day here and there. So if I have a day where I can't do it or I'm just thinking things through, I don't have to. 
but they got this whole badge system now where you, you earn a badge if you upload every day and I want the badge I want I want I'm a collector I want all of the things and I think it's the same with this I, I want to know that I did this every day and I got the prompt every day and just uh, see how the stories stories going I feel a bit lost at the end of the night I've started like editing my books which is something else I keep meaning to do you know they just sit there staring at me I'm, I'm good at writing them not so good at editing them or making them actually readable that that's that's something else for me but that's what I've been doing with NaNoWriMo for yeah this is my 13th year so and a couple of other books as well but I really want to use this to get myself into the habit of doing something, of getting up and going, no, that this is something I yeah, have to do because I really want to have done it. That That's the thing. I want to have done this, so I have to do it. And I'm hoping this will get me into just getting me, you know, off the couch and to my desk and sitting there and, and getting these projects and these things that I want to achieve in my life done. It's important. I've let so much kind of go and I haven't, oh, I'm such a daydreamer. But actually doing the things that I daydream about, that's that's something else. And yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that. How about you lot? Why are you lot doing this? If you're doing Inktober, why? What are you hoping to actually get out of it and achieve? It just, you know, the the pictures or is there more to it? But yeah interesting idea I wonder why people are doing this anyway back to the actual drawing I just I decided to use the black and the pink because her color was pink no particular reason I actually meant it to be purple because that's my daughter's favorite color but I picked up the wrong thing and it ended up pink so we've ended up with this and I just did the uh the flowers and these sort of viney things in pink I also decided to shade our Edmund in pink even though he was sort of you know um I think it was blue to shade him before at least gray but he does have his blue feathers so there is a bit of blue on here on the end so don't don't worry he's got his blue feathers but anyway it's kind of coming to the end I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't it would be absolutely awesome of you it really it really does make my day to see oh look I've got another one it's great but then yeah, leave a comment down below what are you doing why are you doing it what are you going to get out of all this but anyway I will hopefully see you tomorrow for whatever whatever wonder the cup of doom brings me it's it's getting it's getting to the wire it's getting to the ones where I think you know my kids were giggling but anyway I will talk to you see you later bye